Previously, we went over all of the Godzilla and King Kong Easter eggs that I was aware of on Caldera preparing for the Operation Monarch event, which is starting very, very soon on May 11th. Since recording that video, I have been made aware of a few more Easter eggs and some other things that I want to discuss in this video. So first of all, before this event even began and before Peaks was updated, there were actually little dinosaur plushies that could be found around the map. I'm not sure if this was actually a teaser for Godzilla eventually coming or if this is just something completely unrelated. It really reminds me of the Nessie plushies that can be found in Modern Warfare as well and past Call of Duty games that of course made their way over to Apex Legends as well since a lot of the ex-Infinity War developers went over to Respawn. In my prior video we went over a bunch of easter eggs such as the King Kong and Godzilla footprints that can be found all over the map but one of the main things I went over in that video were the different cave paintings that could be found and I identified the main ones in Peaks and the one that could be found underneath the secret waterfall. There is another cave painting though and I'm not sure where exactly this is from. I've seen this floating around on Twitter and Reddit and it appears to show Godzilla and Kong in battle versus Destroyer. I'm not exactly sure where on the map this is though. I've tried searching the entirety of the map and I've just been unable to find it thus far. So if you happen to know where this cave painting is, let me know in the comment section down below and let me know if you found any other cave paintings that I haven't featured in my prior video or this video. In my prior video, I talked about how there's now a bunch of Monarch logos located all over the map. Since previously, the Nazis were in control of the Pacific Island, but now Monarch have come in and they're the organization responsible for researching these monsters. And this organization is not exclusive to the Call of Duty universe. This is a group that is within the Monsterverse itself. And in that video, I posed the question of maybe the Nazis may be involved with this organization itself. And a lot of people let me know in the comments section, since I'm not an expert on the Monsterverse, that apparently there was a comic book series or something like that that explained the US origins of the group. However, we do know that the group is a joint coalition between several governments in order to hunt and study massive unidentified terrestrial organisms, which are the MUTOs. The updated icons around the map do seem to suggest that the Nazis may be involved with this group as well though, and we know that currently Caldera and this event is taking place during the 50s, after the events of World War II. But yeah, you can let me know all of your theories and ideas in the comment section down below. So yesterday we got a brand new trailer because the Godzilla Mastercraft bundle released early to the game. Within this trailer we got a couple very brief shots of this upcoming Godzilla event, and I've already explained the full event on my channel, but it is going to be a separate LTM playlist where we're going to be able to spawn and control Godzilla and Kong on the map via the Orca device, which seems to be a kill streak or something like that. And we know that by the coast on the outskirts of the map are these monarchs for Godzilla. And all of the shots we've seen of Godzilla thus far are of him walking in from the ocean. So maybe he's just going to stay in the water and not make his way on the map itself during this playlist. We'll have to wait and see though, because like I said earlier, there are footprints from Godzilla and Kong on the map, implying that he will make his way onto the map itself. Self, whilst at the same time there are monoliths with King Kong's handprint on in and around the peaks. So it seems like that's going to be his spawn point and he'll probably climb up and down the mountain. And since there's loads of turrets on the outskirts of the map and there are turrets within the peaks itself, it seems like we're going to be able to use these turrets to actually fight Godzilla and Kong. And we know that this device is going to allow us to control Godzilla or King Kong, but we don't know exactly how that's going to work. Are we just going to be able to direct it to a certain area? Area? Is it just going to fight on our team? Or are we physically going to be able to control it ourselves, like we're riding a vehicle? We'll have to wait and see though. We do have this exact description of the event though from the files of the game that I've already posted a video on prior and if you want to read it you can just pause the video. I don't want to read it again since I've already gone over it in that prior video. Speaking of Godzilla and Kong coming onto the map, they are going to be colossal in size and we can tell the scale of them from seeing how big the footprints are and also because we're able to see King King Kong's battle axe on the map, which is insanely huge. And because these beasts are so, so huge, I'm wondering if there's going to be a way to be able to hide from them. We have the various different hatches around the map that allow us to access secret bunkers, but currently there are some that are still closed off and we can't access, but people have been finding that loot items have been accidentally spawning underneath these hatches where we are unable to access just yet. And this seems to be implying that maybe sometime very 
close in the future, these additional hatches are going to open and we're going to be able to go underground. And I'm wondering if that might be with this event and they might open up so we are able to hide in them. If Godzilla or Kong is directly above us, we can go down below since Kong is literally going to be able to just stomp on us. We also seem to be having a volcano event in the future. The volcano in the distance on Caldera has begun to go off on one of the distant islands and it seems like the peak itself will erupt at some point since Monarch are studying the rumblings underneath the mountain. And it begs the question if Rodan could potentially come out when the volcano explodes. We don't know when this event is going to happen though but we've been told there's going to be something to do with the rumblings later on in season 3 after Operation Monarch has concluded. So we'll just have to wait for that and see what ends up happening. That's everything I wanted to go over in today's video though. Be sure to check out my prior two videos or so on this Godzilla and Kong event if you want to learn any further details. Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not here for latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.